Hello everyone, this is Miro and today I'm showing you the Riata Knives Horizon B. I thank uh, Mario and Riata Knives for the opportunity to participate in the pass around organized in Messerfreunde, a German uh, knife group on Facebook. And well, without further ado, after my first positive impressions, let me give you a more detailed look at the knife. First of all, it comes in this nice little knife pouch. It's a simple design, but um, it is very smooth and easy to open. And it does its job very well. As you can see, um, it's a bit um, protected against the um, outside and uh, the knife, well, fits into here very well. But enough about the knife pouch, even if it is very nice. I think you've all come to this video to see more of the Horizon B. We'll look first at the blade. As you can see, or can't see because it's on this side, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, the knife steel, uh, the blade steel is S35VN, so it's a very nice steel uh, made in America and the USA. And, um, well, it's well known for its edge retention, sharpness and so on. So a very nice high grade steel. You can also see that there's a slight recurve on the blade which is nice and um, gives it a nice look, but of course it also makes sharpening a bit more difficult. Then again, the edge is very um, sharp, of course, and also very even. It's pretty perfect. Very nice work on the edge. And like um, I like especially that almost all of the length of the blade has been used for a cutting edge. That's pretty cool. I know um, that sometimes these notches here are a lot larger and are almost a finger choil, but um, well, too small for normal sized fingers or even mine, <laughs> which are a bit smaller. Now, um, I haven't cut very much because I want to give the other testers um, the opportunity to test the blade in almost mint condition as I'm the first one to test it but when I have used it it was very nice and had great performance it uh, yeah, cut very well through um, cordage like paracord and I've also opened a watermelon with it no problem at all and only minimal splitting even though the blade is well relatively thick I'll um, put the um, facts about the knife in the description. The performance so far, as I said, is great. I like the minimalistic jimping on the top of the blade. It's uh, more or less design only um, because when you rest your thumb on here, um, most of it goes here on the handles. Still, it's a nice little thing or gimmick. And um, I also like how well the thumb travels on the rest of the blade top here. And um, what I like is the stylish um, false edge, which however doesn't go right to the um, end of the blade, to the tip. And thus the tip is still relatively strong. So uh, we have a nice and cool look and at the same, at the same time we have a pretty uh, strong tip of the blade. I of course also like the nice stone wash finish. Now the light isn't perfect because I am uh, filming right now and it's uh, well pretty cloudy but still I think for titanium scales the um, natural light is better than uh, artificial lighting. But I think you can still see that we have a very nice stone wash on here. Of course, the blade is centered very well, it's pretty much perfect and we have no blade play, neither um, horizontal or vertical at all and uh, you could just hear mm, a nice sound, I like it. <laughs> now if we take a look at the flipper, then you can see that it has jimping on two sides and it's also very easy to um, grasp with your finger that way. You can uh, 
either push button this or you can do the light switch. Either way, um, the blade just opens up very nice. Also, thanks to the ball bearings um, which it runs on. Now I'm going to try and see if I can show it on the camera. Probably not. Um, but the balls in here are caged, so um, you don't have as many problems with uh, dirt getting in there. Um, of course, the frame no, not the frame, sorry. Of course, the flipper also doubles as a finger guard and um, I think it would do its job pretty well also as a tactical knife. Now, the detent is pretty strong and it's almost impossible to shake uh, the knife open so that's a plus as well. Well, as you uh, <laughs> already heard, I really like the sound of opening this and it's pretty cool because this runs on um, ball bearings. Let me uh, position the camera a bit differently. Alright. Because this runs on ball bearings you can just <laughs> let it fall down like this. That's pretty incredible. So this is very smooth. No blade play. Crazy sharp. Very nice uh, blade form. So that's it for the blade and for the flipper. And um, now I'm going to talk about the handles for a bit. As you can see there's a nice and very simple pattern on these titanium handles. You can um, expect them to give you very nice traction. I think the um, blade, uh, the knife, feels very secure on the hands. When you hold it like this, you can also uh, go up here a little bit, choke up on the handle and uh, perform some finer cutting tasks. And I think um, hands which are bigger than mine will still find uh, the handles very comf comfortable to work with. I think um, if the edges here would have been rounded a bit more. Of course they are broken the edges, you wouldn't uh, hurt yourself as you can see. Um, but if they'd been rounded a bit more um, I think it would be even more comfortable because if you grip it very hard then um, it can happen after a few <laughs> hours probably uh, that some hot spots uh, well, hurt your hands. What I also noticed is that right here we have a hot spot. Now I'm jumping around a bit, uh, which I didn't want to do, but uh, here we have a small piece of the handle, which could, if you grip, if you choke up very strongly, um, well, develop a hot spot against your index finger. This nice pattern and uh, the curves on here are only broken by the black screws here on both sides. And I think that's kind of a shame because um, the pivot screw is in silver and the spacers here are in silver or left in silver. And so why not um, keep the other screws here in silver as well? Or if you want, make all of them black. I think it would have been better to uh, have one uniform color here. And um, you can also see in a small clip I'm now showing you here that uh, there is another model, the Horizon A, which is currently uh, at my friend Andy's and he's testing this model. As you can see on one side uh, of the handle there are no screws at all, which is pretty cool. And uh, on the other side we have these same screws, but uh, <laughs> still they are black. Okay, that, that I can live with, of course. You might want to take a look at his video. Um, I don't know if he has uploaded it yet, but once he does I'll link to it. Um, and you can see a video about the Horizon A, which not only um, comes without the screws on one side, but also has uh, nicer and even nicer blade steel M390 I think it is and a very nice backspacer instead of these uh, little spaces here. As for the pivot screw 
it's very functional and um, integrates into the design uh, which is simple overall uh, but I think it would have been even more interesting <laughs> or let's say less boring if um, this pivot screw would have had some edging as well not necessarily um, in this direction but something different perhaps a little star design because the um, screw itself I think this is a um, kind of Phillips screw, um, also is shaped like a star. Would have been a nice touch. Um, but well, I think that's uh, not really necessary. We do have a nice touch and a very good eye for detail on the pocket clip. As you might see, there's a very, very fine pattern on here. I mean, I already like the pocket clip overall because when you take the knife in your hands, it doesn't uh, hurt at all. It has no negative impact at all on uh, how you grip the knife, which not uh, all pocket knives uh, can do. And um, it also has a very strong tension. And I think it integrates very well in the flow of the design. We have this curve and um, it is continued in the pocket clip. I also like this uh, little hole in here. What I think would have been um, better is if the pocket clip would have been put here at this edge. So we would have had uh, one screw less and I think it would have even uh, integrated even better into the design because there would be one uh, less edge overall. Um, still the way it is done now this uh, pocket clip also um, has another function and uh, well can be used as a sort of over travel guard for the pocket clip but as you'll see in a second that's not really um, necessary but before I take a further look at the pocket clip let's see if I can show you the inside of the uh, handles probably not really because the lighting is not very good but um, you might be able to see that it is very well polished inside, there are no edges left, no screws, for example from the pocket clip are visible, only the polished um, holes for the screws. And um, if we come here to the frame lock you can see or not see, now you can see my plants. <laughs> I think now you might have a chance. Yeah, now you can see this inlay here. And as you can see, this steel inlay protects the um, titanium on the, on the frame lock from, uh, well, sticking on the um, knife. Because as you may know, um, titanium tends to do that. If you have titanium locks, sometimes it becomes hard to unlock them like this. But for the Horizon B it's no problem at all and uh, I think it's also a very nice touch that this steel inlay, which is integrated from the um, inner side of the handle, also doubles as a frame uh, over travel guard. As you can see um, right here the handle is not completely um, cut through and so when you unlock it it uh, goes against here and can't travel any further. That's pretty clever and for me that's one of the highlights of this knife. Not uh, because it's such a um, dramatic feature, but because I think this is completely new. And uh, well, everyone likes innovation and I think that's important for um, knife design, of course. Well, the only thing I've uh, noticed, the only imperfection at all, is right here. This little thing. I think uh, the handles were cut uh, with a CNC machine and right here we have a few specks of titanium dust. This is uh, hard, I can't scratch it off, but this is such a small imperfection. And um, if we take a look at this then we can see that the handles and the frame lock were hollowed out a little and it becomes even easier to uh, unlock the frame because you can sort of press your thumb into this a little 
and there's no chance of slipping. It's pretty cool. I've um, played around with this, probably opened it, I don't know, perhaps even a thousand times. <laughs> so, uh, no problem at all. The uh, blade also uh, has not developed any blade play, as I said, and the frame has not uh, traveled at all. So, I think this is going to be a pretty sturdy knife and um, yeah, from what I can say already, it is built like a tank. I think this first folder, as far as I know from Riata Knives, is very well built. It's pretty cool, um, has some amazing materials in it. When we look at the competition, it is still uh, priced relatively moderately, especially when we think about uh, what kind of quality you get for the money you pay. It's around $200 right now, and I think it's worth every penny. Now, um, I know some of you might be skeptical because this is Chinese made, but as far as I can tell, no uh, parts of the design were stolen anywhere, and I mean, why should they be? Riata Knives has already produced knives for quite some time before, um, just not on a uh, production level. And um, again, I think this knife can hold its own with lots of knives of the competition. I'd even go as far as to say that um, Riata knives can uh, hold its own against uh, American companies such as Spyderco or perhaps uh, even Chris Reeves. Or I've also tested the Acribus from Spartan Blades. And of course, this is also my personal taste, but I like this better. I think the um, finish and the fit of uh, everything is on the same level as the Acribus of Spartan Blades. Now again I thank uh, Mario and David Deng from Riata Nice for organizing this pass around. I'm very happy that I uh, had the opportunity to play with this and I'm going to send it to the next tester. The rest of the pass around is probably going to be in German, but at least this way uh, you guys uh, also have the chance to take a look at this knife. Yeah, it's just wonderful. I hope I have inspired you to take another look at uh, Riata Nice and perhaps also Chinese companies in general, because now they make a really, really great knives and I think they are worth our attention. And I hope, uh, well, that you consider this for your collection and for uh, using it. And of course, as always, I wish you sharp knives, lots of fun when playing with your knives, and greetings from the north.